Okay, uh, let's try to solve this question, merge into one. So let's uh, read the problem statement first. So you have n interval of ranges. Each of them has number from L to R. You need to minimize the number of this interval by using this operation. So choose any two interval. Uh, a and B such that A and B intersect with each other and remove them. And add a new interval C has all number A and B only. You can use this operation any number of times. So, so let's uh, understand you the example. What exactly a question is that? So I have we have a number sub. Okay, we have a pair of number. So first two four nine twelve six nine. Then we have eight ten, and then we have a one comma three. So we can start from this point. Okay, so this range from one comma three. So we can uh, try to update our end and try to cover all the points. Okay, so we can easily add uh, two comma four because two is a uh, just part of it. Okay, two comma four is something like that. So we can add this two or three from one to four range. So new range will become one to four. New range will become one to four and two four and one three is over. Okay, so now we are trying to find any which is less than four. So there is no less than four, nine, six, eight. Then this is the one uh, pair of answer that we got. So ne next we try to find a greater than four. That means six are a starting point. And now we nine is there. We are trying to find which is less than nine. So which is less than nine is eight. We can update this 10. So we can update this 10. So we are trying to find which is less than 10. So definitely nine, we can update 12. So this will be covered. So that will be the two answer which cover all the pairs. Okay. So how do I solve this question? How to do solve this question? We can sort the array one three and then two four. We sort the array using the first pair. Okay. Using the first pair, we'll sort the array. So two four. Then uh, it will come six nine and then eight ten. And then nine two. Okay. So starting point is one. A start equal to one. Let's suppose a start equal to one. And end equal to three. We will check. Is it this two is less than equal to three? Yes, it is true. Then we can update end equal to four. Now this part will over. Is it four less than equal to six? No. Then we can print this one comma four. Now star one comma four will be the answer. First answer we got the first answer one comma four, and we'll print the answer one comma four. And then now you update this two part over. Now we will update this s equal to six and n equal to nine. Now we will checking is eight is less than equal to nine? Yes. Then we will update n equal to ten. Then we are checking is a this 10 less than equal to 9? Yes, then we'll update it to it. Then we'll print 6 and 2. That will be answered. Well, there is a one case that you have to check. Let, let's suppose, let's suppose we have this 50 and a 50. So what will happen here when n equal to 9? This case is very, very important to understand. So you are not getting W in this too. So n equal to right now is 9. We are checking is 9 less than equal to 18. Then we'll update 9 equal to 15. Okay. Now again we check is 15 is less than equal to 9. Yes. Then you will update 15 equal to 12. But it's it still you see that 15 is greater than 12. So whenever you are updating n, you are always trying to uh, try to get the max value of here. N must be max value of second pair. Okay. If less than equal to so you just take care of this one. Let's try to implement this code. So seen and when 
sin x sin y we really need a uh, sin x in y uh okay so first i will start equal to okay so we'll just take vector okay vector pair v or we don't need to be vector here just uh, try to get first sin x y okay and we'll start from i equal to 1 so this is the first i uh, this will input we are getting to come up with so one thing uh okay you know sorry. we really want it because we really need to sort it we need to sort the array. okay so here you should be zero and here seen x y and v dot push back x comma y and then sort begin from our field of thing. So whenever you dot sort the array, you can print the sort and you see that it will sort the uh, pairs of vector using the first pair, okay? First element of the pair. So when you print there, you see that 1, 3, then 2, 6, 8, 9 will come first after this one. So uh, just do the start point. You see that how it's sorted. It's sorted using the first pair, okay? So start equal to v0 dot first, and equal to v0 dot second. Now we are uh, doing, we are checking every time. For LL i equal to 1, i less than i plus this. If this end, if n is greater than equal to v of i dot first, then you just update n equal to max and comma v of i dot second. If else, if it is not, then we get the first pair of answer p or start and end and then and start equal to again v of i dot first and end equal to v of i dot second. And here you have to print C out the start and for the last part of the answer. This is so why you are taking max element? You just take care of this test case. Okay, understood. The test case is something like that. Uh, 3, 1, 5, and then 2, 8, 2, 15, and then Three, three, uh, nine. So answer will be one fifteen. But uh, if I didn't do uh max element, let's suppose. So if I if I run this server, we are getting one fifteen. But if I just do vi dot second, okay. So you are getting one nine. Okay. So But answer will be 150, not one line. So you can see that this is updated one line. That's why we have to take max again. Okay. So let's try to submit the code. And this the question is merge interval. The summary. So it is running on one zero seven. So our code is accepted. Let's mark it, okay? 